hi so you want to enter into embedded system and become a successful firmware developer right so what's embedded system anything you see from apple watch to a car to your phone to television everything has chip and ic inside so there is embedded systems in it okay so there is embedded system in each and everything today nowadays which we are using it's a fascinating field of engineering where you can have a great career ahead so today i will be letting you know how you can make a successful career in an embedded system it's not that tough you need to be persistent and you can become a very good embedded system engineer and earning a lot of money so let's proceed and see how we can do it first thing what's an embedded system so when you want to enter into this field first thing you need to know what field you are entering into you are entering into commercial business this is where you have an IC that controls each and everything here you see from car, washing machine to television, everything that you are using nowadays. Even the phone or the laptop you are using to view this video is being having an embedded system in it or embedded ICs in it. So why it is called embedded and what, what are things consistent in it? So embedded means there is a code that we write normally in C or C++. So I have taken the example of C. So we compile the code we generate binary out of it and we dump this binary in the ICs. So what we are doing basically, we are writing the logic to how our car or washing machine or a mobile phone or smartwatch should work. So that is what embedded system is. An embedded engineer will be doing a development for a watch or for a car, for a dashboard, for a phone. So you are actually interact interacting with the electronics component and the physical world outside. So it's a very fascinating way of dealing with uh, things. So that's what embedded system it on a brief. Embedded engineers and how much is the salary? So as you can see, there are a lot of big companies like Intel, Bosch, LNT, Mercedes Benz, there are a lot of companies that are hiring engineers for embedded systems. So embedded system is at its peak in India now. And uh, if you know about the compensation, right? So if we want to choose a field and that, and we should know the compensation we are, will be getting. So first thing, if you start as an embedded engineer, so you get somewhere around six to eight lakhs as a fresher or a two year experience. So this is a quite good salary, I would say, to start your career with. Then as you gradually grow in your career, your salary also increases in a good structure. And this range, uh, six to nine year range, here your salary depends upon what skill sets you have developed. Like if you are an engineer who, are, who is working into this um, nowadays in EVs, electric vehicles, then you get a very good high salary. If you work with companies like Intel, Bosch, then you get a very good salary or with Harman. Harman is like the parent company of JBL. So that kind of companies, if you are into it, then you get a quite good amount of salary. So I would say it's a very good field where you get a good salary and there are great companies working in this field. And the major thing is that this field doesn't have a drawback, right? So even if there is a recession, you need your mobile to work. Even if there is a recession, anything is there you need your phone you need your washing machine you need your television means everything where embedded system is there you need it so that's that's how important embedded system is becoming nowadays or you can see the electronics is becoming nowadays so let's see to be an embedded engineer i just say that as i am an embedded developer so i am basically a btech graduate and you should have interest into coding and in electronics this is very very important you should have uh, interest into electronics otherwise at some point of time you may lose your interest into it then when you can start suppose you already started your career in a field like you are an electrical engineer or an electronic engineer with uh, working with purely with uh, software and want to shift i think you can shift any moment of time you decide this is a very good opportunity in your career you can shift it and it's a dynamic field it is growing day by day so in your point of career in any point of career you can switch to this field then nowadays in india you should be hearing the news that india is also running into the race of this silicon industry and manufacturing so you see this news like 
future is electric so nowadays the ev production in india is booming and also the tata and other companies are investing into this silicon extraction and manufacturing apple has created its plant in um, chennai right so a lot of requirement for the embedded developers will be coming so that is where we have to put our pace and we can become a great career we can create a great career in embedded systems so now we got an overall idea if you become an embedded system you get a good salary you get a good uh, company now how to become an embedded developer so to become an embedded developer first and foremost thing is c programming you should have a very good concept and hold in c programming so this is must must then your memory concept i would say you start with c slowly you grab this memory what is ram and rom concept while uh, learning c so that is one thing and the major thing is this thing debugging so to start your career you need to invest some time and also money in buying these boards these are stm uh, 32 boards so in this board you can start your practicing this cost about two to three thousand only and maybe with the blue pill also you can start but it is tough to start with this it cost around 300 rupees so like you can start your career uh, with embedded systems uh, before that you have to do some uh, hands-on uh, coding and also training on these kind of uh, boards like where you have ic's and the pins are there you can code and check your logic in it so a lot of videos are available there even i am making videos related to this so you can uh, check how you can run your code on it so you have to learn debugging you have to learn different communication protocols like how one ic or like like if you consider your car so in a car there are a lot of ic's right so how each ic's communicate so with each other that you can learn mm, via these kind of protocols then understanding the electronics is the core concept so if you understand what is electronics how it is being utilized in embedded system it's a great uh, pay, uh, like uh, help towards your career goals then for advanced you can go with artos that is real time operating systems then os like linux and lts is like your mobile phone like uh, voice over and then your uh, wi-fi and all so these are covered in lts so if i want to say like how to start first start with c language then buy these boards start practicing on this board by that time you will all learn this ram rom and c uh, so this is how you can start your career in it now to give you a brief idea how the journey will be so you start with c programming then you buy boards and do debugging uh, debugging on the boards so c programming i am assuming you may take one month and debugging also one month and rest of the protocols i think uh, all protocols if you give a good amount of time you can learn in one month so i did it like uh, learning while i am doing uh, like uh, my btech and also while working so that way you can also learn then you start your preparation for interviews preparation so after that you need to get some job in this sector and then you actually start on projects that's a that is based on uh, embedded and that is actually market relevant projects okay so that is how you can do it and um, this whole things may take from somewhere around uh, four uh, sorry somewhere around three to six months of time and after that you can land to a job that can give you like uh, somewhere around uh, 10 lpa to 16 lpa also so that is what the career path is and job security so it has a very good job security because this is something you it's it's like a, you are you know how a product is being developed you can also create your own startup if you want to if you have good ideas you can create a startup and uh, create your business out of it so consider embedded as a option for your career it gives a good uh, amount of salary and it has a lot of industries working into it so definitely you should uh, try it as a career thank you